Hello everybody. In this exercise you can learn to use various online services and software to convert your JavaScript, CSS, and HTML web applications to mobile applications. And some of the services you use is as easy as one click. All right, first we'll show the code that we'll be converting into a mobile app ready for the App Store. And you can see that it's a JavaScript HTML5 tip calculator application and it has some JavaScript in it, CSS, and HTML. And if you want to learn how to build your own tip calculator applications, I have a tutorial for it on YouTube. You can just type in Adam Corey tip calculator and it should come up on YouTube. So this is the code that we'll be converting. And this is what it looks like in its current form in the browser as an HTML file. You put in your the price of your meal, 79.80. And then let's say I want to put a 25% tip. I just drag that to 25 and it lets me know how much I need to tip my waiter. So I want to take this application from being web-based to a mobile app that can be downloaded by people in the App Store or I can just use it privately for personal use just on my phone and I don't have to put it on the App Store. Now I'm going to go into my project folder and the first thing I'm going to do is zip this file. So I'm going to send to compressed zip folder. And there's my zipped folder because the service that I'm going to be using requires a zip package. And I believe you can zip a whole folder full of files or just a single file the way I did here. What you can do is go to Google and type in convert JavaScript, HTML, CSS into mobile app and your results should look something like this and I'm going to be using the first result in the set but if you go down through the list you'll see that there's more than just that one and the one I'm going to use for what I'm going to use it for is free but there's also paid versions of it so I don't want you to focus on just one certain service or technology because there's more than one for instance if I type in IBM in front of that search term, I'm shown Apache Cordova. So I click on that. This one is a similar thing, but it takes a little bit more technical know-how. So what I was thinking of after this video I'm doing today, I was thinking about either using Cordova or one of the other conversion softwares that are 100% free and open source. But they take just a little bit more technical know-how but not that much. So let's go back and back. Click here. So it says web into app. HTML to app. And go ahead and create an account because you'll have to create an account to get the package that this service produces. But it's free to sign up and free to use it. You have to pay for the Android and iOS version. But like I said, don't just jump in and pay for something because there's a lot of free services out there and free software that I'm going to be demonstrating in future tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and log in before I start uploading my little zip package. Okay, now I'm logged in and I land on the board. Now all I have to do is click, and you can see I have zero apps in my list. Click Maker. And then I'm going to... I'm going to set the icon. I'm going to change this default green star icon. Okay, that looks great. So that will be the icon for my app. Now, instead of an online URL, which you can just point this to an online URL if your web application happens to be there, or you can do like I'm going to do and just upload a zip package with your files in it. So I'm going to click HTML files. I'm going to select my zip package and put it right there. Okay, you can see my index.zip which is an index.html file has been uploaded. Now I'm going to go down in here and just fill out some let's call it tip calc version 1.0 then you put your company name and package name then click next. You can also put splash screen and some other features in there. Next. And then we'll go over here and it says free Android app or dedicated Android and iOS. And I'm just going to leave it on free Android app and click make app and it's making it 
And this is not a framework. This is a no work. Now, here's the app in your app list. And you just click on the little gear. Download. Download free. All zip files. And there it comes. And there it is. Show in folder. And I'm going to cut it out of my downloads folder and put it into my project folder. So here's my project folder. I'm just going to paste it right in there. And then I'm going to right click, extract all, extract. And then here we are. Then you click the Android folder, and there's your APK file. Now, this file is what you want to transfer via USB to your Android phone. And this also is the file, the APK file, is what you would put up at the Google Play Store. Now I'm going to go to this PC now that I have my phone connected and USB file transfer is selected on my USB preferences on my phone because my phone is connected to my computer. So I'll press this PC, then I'll double click my phone, double click internal storage, and this is where I'm going to pop that file. Just right click there somewhere and paste it in. And here it is down on the bottom. Now I can close this and disconnect my phone from file transfer. Okay, next thing you want to do is open your phone and then you're going to go to your file system, wherever your files are. And you should see a little logo that says apps and click that. And I can see my little face icon it says app release APK. And what I'm going to do is I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not. I'm trying I'll try my best to let you see it here. I'm gonna click that. Then it says tip calc at the top. Then it asks, Do you want to install this application? It does not require any special access. So down at the bottom I'm gonna click install. Then it says blocked by Play Protect. Play Protect doesn't recognize this app this app's developer. Because I didn't put any certificate or any developer credentials when I made the app. It says apps from unknown developers can sometimes be unsafe. Install anyway. Now it's installing. Then don't send to san scan at Play Protect. So don't send. App installed. Now I'll open it. There you go. There's your tip tip calculator I don't know if you can see that but now it's an app on the phone and I'm gonna put in my meal was a hundred dollars and I want to have let's say a 35% tip so $35 is the tip that I'm gonna leave my waiter so now when I go to the restaurant, I don't have to use my brain anymore. I can just open my phone, click my little app icon, and calculate the tip, and then pay the waiter. All right, have fun experimenting. And like I said earlier, I'll be doing some more advanced tutorials that will give you more power, flexibility, and freedom when it comes to creating both Android and iOS apps using something more like Cordova or one of the other uh, conversion tools that are free and open source, I would recommend that you don't pay for any. Okay? I just wanted to show you this service because it's a really quick, easy way to get a free Android APK file that you can experiment with. Bye-bye.